Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing. And that's superstar boxer Devin Dream Haney made a post on Twitter saying, I'm going to take some time, spend some of my money, travel the world, and I'll be back in two years after Ryan's suspension and we can fight again. Now, this is coming off a controversial loss that Devin Haney suffered eight on 420. Most people had Devin Haney pick the win, including myself. And it just seems like Ryan was just on a different level that night. And you had many people from the boxing community. Many of us was in shock. But come to find out, Ryan Garcia tested positive for Osterine. Now, he's ever since then, Ryan Garcia has went on a, how should I say this? You know, he's went on a conspiracy theory, you know, saying that the, the higher ups are out to get me. It was his vitamin company, so on and so forth. And now he's getting sued from everybody. But one thing that's coming up is the New York State Athletic Commission is going to figure out what to do with Ryan Garcia. Now, Ryan Garcia is likely to face a hefty suspension. We don't know how long it's going to be. Last time something happened with one of these mega superstars was Canelo Alvarez. And they gave him, what, a six-month suspension? Uh, it just didn't make any sense, but whatever. That was, yeah. But Devin Haney is now saying that he's not ready to fight nobody else. And so is Bill Haney. And listen, I have no problem with that. You know, champ, you know, Devin Haney, he needs to, like I said, he made a lot of money. Just relax, man. I mean, you got time. What happened was foul. And, you know, he going to have to do legal actions and everything else, I'm assuming. But I see no problem with that. And who else is he really to fight, right? I mean, he's at the top to where he's up there with as one of the faces of boxing. And I'm sure he's not going to fight at nobody. I know it was a purse bid out there. I forget against who, but top ranking up picking up the purse bid. And Devin Haney basically said he, you know, more likely he not going to fight. So there's a good chance he's going to forfeit his belt at 140 pounds. But yeah, but I have no problem with this. I mean, listen, Devin Haney takes some time. You know, what happened was messed up and he'll come back a bigger, bitter, better, bigger and better fighter. Now, he was talking about going up against Ryan Garcia. I personally don't think that he should give Ryan Garcia the, the pleasure of having another rematch or having another fight, should I say. But I see no problem with it. Hey, it'll be another payday. And I'm sure Devin Haney will outbox Ryan Garcia easily. And, you know, Ryan Garcia, it's just the sky is falling for him, honestly. I mean, he got a lot. He fooled a lot of people out there hanging with Coach Prime and making these songs come out on Bless, Holly Favor and all of that. But, yeah, but now the... The sky is really falling. So we'll see, you know, this upcoming week with this whole New York State Athletic Commission. I'm sure he's going to get a hefty suspension. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Oh, one more thing, too, before I forget. Bill Haney also said that Devin Haney won't fight until the New York State Athletic Commission removes that loss from their record, his record. And I see no problem with that as well. That's the least that they can do, especially after what happened to this young brother. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.